These are the blueprints for an automotive revolution. This is the J.C. Penny shock absorber. Its unique patented metering pin adjusts the ride automatically while you drive. So you get the control of heavy-duty shocks when the going gets rough, and the ride of original equipment shocks when the road is smooth. And if it ever fails, return it. We'll replace it free for as long as you own your car. The J.C. Penny shock absorber. It's the last shock absorber your car will ever need. Following the game, CBS Sports presents live coverage of the finals of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships. You'll say you saw it on CBS Sports. It's 14-14 as the Cardinals, after trailing 14 to nothing in the first five minutes of this game, are even. Steve Little kicking off. Back deep, this is Tony Green inside the five-yard line. Green out to the 20, a flag as he's to the 22-yard line. You know, this year you cannot block below the waist on a kickoff, and that might be what that flag's all about. Well, and it's a great rule, too. It's about time it was put in. Probably more knee jobs on, on the kicking returns and all than anything else in football. Boy, Tom, you really nailed it when you said the complexion of this game may be changing as the entry to Deardorf has fired up this St. Louis team. At least Tony Green didn't fair catch the kickoff. <laughs> he did run it back. Here's the young man that was a star a year ago with the Washington Redskins, and that Pardee did not think he was putting out 100% or he would still be with the Redskins, but he does have quality, and he does have speed and can really run. Well, he had an 80-yard run with a punt, a 99-yard return with a kickoff, but they thought he'd lost his fire. But the Giants are glad to have him, and the penalty back inside the 10. Let's listen to it. Illegal use of the hands. 45 yards. He won their first game for him in overtime. Here's Pasarczyk back scrambling, and everybody was covered on that play, incomplete. And there is a different feeling right now about that St. Louis defense. They had everyone covered and pressured by Mike Dawson. Joe has got to realize that the complexion has changed and stop throwing the football when he's got to force it to even get rid of it. He's got to eat the football a little bit and calm things down on the giant offensive side. New England, 21-3 over the Jets. Rogan to Stanley Morgan, a 55-yard pass. And the Pats are on top of the Jets. Pit. Here's Jennings and a beautiful kick. Willard Harrell going back. He's going to let it hit. And St. Louis got a break on that one as it bounces out to the 44-yard line. That was a heads-up play by Harrell. Sometimes they'll backfire on you, though, and get by and go all the way in. Did you see that quick kick, the quick kick yesterday, an 80-yarder in that Georgia Tech-Alabama game? That was a 42-yard kick by Jennings. The Cardinals with the football. You dance on a river of wood, and the spinning shapes in the cold, dark water are your only bridge home. So you keep on dancing until the last log is in place and you can head for Miller time. Time for the best tasting beer you can find, Miller High Life. When it's time to relax, we've got the beer, Miller beer. If you've got the time, we've got the beer, Miller beer. Now Ford, the long distance champ, has the longest range of any pickup in America and the best pickup MPG. With a standard 19-gallon tank plus optional tank, you've got a 39-gallon capacity, which gives it an estimated range with optional overdrive transmission of 709 miles based on EPA rating. The estimated highway range is 946 miles. One-third the length of America on one fill-up. Top Ford pickups, the longest range of any pickup in America. Ford, the long-distance champ. We come back with 10.59 remaining until halftime. The Cardinals and Giants, 14 apiece. They have the ball, the Cardinals do, at the 44-yard line. Tilly, Steve, the wide receivers. Anderson and Morris are running backs behind Jim Hart. Hart to Anderson. Anderson tripped up as he gets out to the 49. Harry Carson over to make the stop. Carson in on about every running play. Let's see how Joe Bostic, the big rookie at right tackle, replacing Deardorff, did on that play. Number 71 now, out of Clemson, a rookie. Let's see how he does. He's blocking down on Mendenhall, who gets away from him, uh, gets caught in the flow. And again, with Otis Anderson, you don't have to block too long or hold him too long. He already has 48 yards on 10 carries, a gain of five on that last one. 
there's a delay to Anderson, and boy, they've got him this time. Flags on the play. John Mendenhall takes the ball away, but it's been blown dead. Mendenhall was the first to get there. It'll be the Cardinals football, but what about the play? Boy, what a great defensive charge by the Giants. Holding against St. Louis. There wasn't one Giant in possession to make the tackle. There were four defensive linemen there. Watch this move. You're from behind the Cardinal office. There's Morris Blocky. Look at this. Everybody on the Giant front four was still upright. That's excellent play. <laughs> Mend it all. He thought he had the football, but nothing to it. Tom Brahaney, number 51, is the one that has been indicated as the party that was holding. You know how big Mike McCoy must look like down on the field at about 295, 6'6. Six, six. Holding. Offense. Number 51. Second down. And that is Brahaney, who's playing a place of Tom Banks. Banks has a badly bruised thigh. He hasn't played yet this year. They don't want to use him today if they can get away with it. So Brahaney went all the way last week against Dallas, and he is a very fine center. He's probably the Cardinals' way of thinking the best backup center in the NFL. They consider him a sixth starter. It's passing time for Hart. On a second and 15, and they give off to Anderson. And Anderson wedges it out to the 44-yard line. And guess who's on that tackle again? Carson and New England is pulling away from the Jets. New England, that tough loss on Monday night. Anderson getting up slowly. I guess he's all right. Pretty nice call, though, when you can go on a passing situation, can go to your running back and have a good chance of getting the first. Well, That's he speed. picked up five yards. It'll be third and ten now from the 44-yard line. Boy, what beautiful day for football. Look at it. Kurt Sleeveweather. And the fall afternoon. down and 10. Hart. He's got Steve and Steve with Kerry Jackson with him all the way. And I mean with it. Kerry Jackson got away with it. Pretty good pass rush by Mendenhall and company. McCoy up front overthrown and Jackson hit the receiver in the back but got away with it because the ball was too high to catch. There's a look at Dan Deardorff on the sideline. John Omohandro, the trainer for the Cardinals, as Tony Green goes back now for the Giants. Steve Little to kick at the 9.30 mark of the second quarter. 14 all, our score from Giants Stadium. Little with a very fine kick. Jackson inside the 20, back to the 16-yard line. I should say Green, and as he belted, Green is hit short of the 25-yard line. And again, the Cardinals have been hitting much tougher since that injury to Deardorff. That was Theotis Brown out of UCLA on the special teams. The Giants have the football when we return to the Meadowlands. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the toughest stealer of them all? When it starts to rain, the Steelers start to bite and hold. Woo! Yeah, they do. Uniroyal presents the Steeler Radio. It's built tough with two steel belts, and it's tough to beat when you look at its price. You want to see a cowboy beat a Steeler? The Uniroyal Steeler. You want a tough tire at a price that's fair? You want Uniroyal there. One thing I'll never compromise on, my tools. I go for the best like this, or these. Yeah, Levi's blue jeans are tools. They fit your body like a good hammer fits your hand, nice and comfortable. And this Levi's denim is as tough as nails, a real value for the buck. Tell you, I wouldn't wear anything less than Levi's blue jeans, but then I don't skimp on tools. Barriers are the essence of sport. For some to go further, for others to go higher, for this vehicle to break the sound barrier. Ken Squire inviting you to join us for Project SOS, the speed of sound, on CBS next Saturday. At 8.05 this morning, Mountain Time, Stan Barrett, with a speed of over 638 miles per hour. We understand that is not sanctioned as a world record. But you know that it's on hydrogen peroxide, which might be a, an answer to our, our energy crisis. Maybe we can all do that. 
coming up next Saturday on the CBS Sports Spectacular. First down for the 24-yard line. 14 to 14, our score is Ernest Array goes in motion for the Giants. Give up the middle to Ken Johnson and Johnson across the 25 to the 26-yard line. That St. Louis defense right now feels like they must stop everything the Giants have had going for them and win the game for the offense. Very good feeling now on the on the Cardinal defense. Like they can't do anything we can't handle. That feeling. Hud Wilkinson looking on. Tom Bettis in the foreground, the defensive coordinator. And a bright one. They've changed the defense since Tom came over. They were a reading defense. Now they're an attack defense. Second and eight in motion goes Gray again. This is Coder and make that Johnson. And Johnson across the 30 to the 31 yard line. He's going to be two yards short of that first down. Well, I like the way Johnson put his head down and got the yardage. He was the blocker, of course, for O.J. Anderson, his counterpart for St. Louis. Look at this move. Boy, good block by Clack on Davis. It's a pretty good hole against that defense. Boy, an 11th round draft pick, as we said, overshadowed by O.J. Anderson in Miami. One of his problems, Tom, is he had some problems with his feet, and they had to put some build-in type arches in his shoes so he didn't have so much trouble with his feet. How did you ever find a fact like that out? Well, I always wanted to be a podiatrist. <laughs> Third down and two. Here's Johnson. He's got the first down. He had six grabs a year or last week, and he has the first down after the 36. Tim Kearney making the stop, but a first down for New York. I think he was about an 11th round draft choice, wasn't he? That's right. That's Pasarczyk now checking before he throws it out. This was an intended play, though. Joe looked downfield just to pull the decoy out and then got it safely to his fullback. Both backs out of the backfield. Offensively doing a decent job. Yankowski late. 7.27 to go. Second quarter. First down for the Giants. Johnson trying to go wide. Carney had a hand on him as he moves up to the 40-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Giants came out throwing the football. Now, Tom, they're trying to establish that running game a little bit. Well, again, with, with tackles that are sort of uh, questionable, it's hard to believe they can run wide at all. Most people feel like if you can't run wide, they can sit in there in that 34 and just obliterate your running backs. But somehow that time they got outside, and Neville seemed to be doing a good job at right tackle. Neville and Coppins playing in there. Gordon King, their first-round draft pick of a year ago, is out. He's on the injured list right now with a elbow injury. They miss him. Here's Johnson, nothing doing. There's nothing developed on that play for Big Ken Johnson. 6'2", 220. Chicago now has taken the lead against the Minnesota Vikings. That's Vince Evans, the young quarterback from SC, the runner, hit James Scott with a 56-yard pass. Chicago may have to play Vince Evans whether they like it or not. He's a good-looking quarterback. Thus far, the Giants with 20 yards rushing on that one-yard pickup. As we look again at Dan Deardorff, it's like they may have some ice on that left leg. Everybody looking it over, trying to see just the extent of that injury. Second down, make it third down, six yards to go. Masarczyk, in trouble. And getting up with that tackle is Ken Green, their first-round draft pick last year. Now, if Pasarcha gets away from the safety man who blitzed, pretty big hole there, a lot of yardage. And that time, the Cardinals got away with it because he made a good tackle. They've been blitzing Green a lot in this game. Well, everybody was picked up except the safety man. Giants didn't do a bad job. Jennings to kick from the 20-yard line. Harold back deep. Ooh. Jennings hit up. Beautiful kick. Harold. 15-yard line, trying to get to the picket line, and he's not going to go anywhere. Good reaction by the special teams of New York. As Harrell's forward progress inside the 10, Beasley, Reese, and Otis McKinney, two safeties, getting down there and hemming him in after a 49-yard kick that time by Dave Jennings. And so the Cardinals are going to have the football just inside the 10-yard line with five and a half minutes left in this first half. Well, the giant kicking game is excellent. Danello and Jennings, both good. Watch it. Watch a little of the coverage from the right side. Watch the blocking that takes place here. But good penetration, good legal coverage on the punt. Boy, that ball just kept carrying on that punt. 49 yards. From the 10 now, Tilly Steep, the wide receiver. Anderson. Anderson gets a yard. Well, he stays on his feet. 
Well, he just doesn't give up. It looked like he was stopped, tried <laughs> to go outside, still didn't get any yardage. A very resourceful effort. Watch Jeter now, number 70. He's looking inside his shirt. He thinks that's where Anderson went. Watch number 70. He's got him, right? Now he's looking to see what happened to him. There goes Dan Deerdorf out. Big guy being taken into the dressing room. Second down, 10 from the 10-yard line for St. Louis. Here is Anderson. Anderson is a little bit that time as he gets three-yard gain. Ryan Kelly, who's maybe the most underrated player on this team. He's overshadowed by Van Pelt and Carson. He made the tackle. The one thing about the artificial surface is, like you stumble on your rug once in a while, you can actually stumble because it's a very positive feeling with those little slippers you wear. Well, they talk about the shoe has become so sophisticated in traction, there might be too much traction now. That's right. 